Basekin, six rejig of current federal system. Hello, my amazing family. A few nice words can help a person a lot more than you think. Please don't forget to give us a like or a thumbs up if this is your first time. Thank you. Edo State Governor Godwin Obaseki has stressed the need to rethink and rejig the current federal structure of the country, insisting that the current system is an inherited passive federal system. Speaking at a public presentation of a book titled Federalism, Revenue Allocation and Restructuring in Nigeria, a historical perspective written by Salisu Yekini of Lagos State University, Lasso, yesterday, it said the imperative of restructuring the country could not be overemphasized. Represented by Sherman, Task Force on Internally Generated Revenue and former Commissioner for Finance and Infrastructure, Edo State, John Osagi, in Nigbedio, he said, in a true federal system, the state and local governments are where powers are, but today, what we have in Nigeria is an inherited passive federal system of government. It is titled True as a Unitary System. That is why the federal has so much power and so much in the exclusive list. According to him, in a federal system, power is at the lower level where more developments are carried out. He said, we recognize that the federal is responsible for defense and security as well as foreign affairs, but economic advancement and the creation of jobs will happen in the states. We have 774 local governments and 36 states. The population is more at the state and local government levels. So more resources must be deployed there. There are some businesses that the federal government need not be involved in. In his review, Professor Sylvester Odio Akane of the Department of Political Science, Lasso, said the book is an information base for those interested in resource allocation matters. He said it would enlighten those at sea on the question of what is meant by restructuring and possibly drive home the urgency of the moment, the need to revamp a country sitting dangerously on the cliff. The author, Salisu, described Nigeria as a multiplicity of nations with deeply rooted and diverse ethnic Pluralism, he said the independent research work, which has now translated into the book, commenced in 2017, not for promotion, but out of curiosity, for an expanded knowledge in Nigerian government and politics, and also for the zeal and determination to contribute to the debate on critical national, political, and economic issues. Vice-Chancellor Lasso, Professor Ebiemi Olatuji Bello, who was represented by Deputy Vice-Chancellor Academics, Professor Elas Wahab, said issues of security, corruption, and poverty deserve an urgent national conversation. Please don't forget to give us a like or thumbs up if this is the first time. Thank you. In another related segment, Obaseki's regeneration project gets boost as Edo cultivates 50,000 hectares oil palm plantation. The 
Edo State Governor Mr. Godwin Obaseke has said his administration has made remarkable progress in the area of forest regeneration as the state has cultivated over 50,000 hectare oil palm plantations. Abaseki disclosed this when he received the British High Commissioner to Nigeria, Katrina Nian, who was on courtesy visit at the government house in Benin City. He hinted that the target was to cover over 200 hectares, seeking the support of the British government to realize the vision. According to him, we have developed a structured oil palm program where we are going to make 115,000 hectares of land available. The first 50,000 hectares have been done under a very well-defined and structured program, which takes into consideration a strong community action program. Communities must be involved as well as the investors so as to sustain livelihoods in the communities. We will be counting on your support in the areas of technical assistance, Obaseki urged. Please don't forget to give us a like or thumbs up if this is your first time. Thank you. The government noted that the British government had helped establish the best forestry governance system in the city, stating that the advent of crude oil truncated it. We have done a bit of work in reclaiming our forest as we have a well-developed regeneration program for our forests. We are also working hard to police our forests to ensure they are not hiders for criminals, he added. Governor Godwin Obaseki also renewed the call for the return of Bini artifacts in the United Kingdom, noting that it would help inspire and re-energize the state's young population to create such masterpieces. He further stated, as a government, we are working to ensure our artifacts are returned, as the works represent our culture, creativity, and innovation. The work will influence and re-energize our young ones as it will connect them with their history. Please don't forget to give us a like or thumbs up if this is your first time. Thank you. The return of the work is important to us as we have the capacity to support the works as it will attract tourism. The artifacts are a global public good. In the area of technology, Governor Godwin Obaseki said his administration is preparing Edo youth to take advantage of technology adding, we are using basic education to drive the process of actualizing our poli policies and plans. The issue of human trafficking has been taken seriously and we have made remarkable sources in that aspect. As we trace the root causes and address it, we are open to work with the federal government to come up with a strategy for regular migration knowing those that want to travel and preparing them for such journeys. On our part, Katriona Ling said the United Kingdom is ready to partner with the Edo state government to tackle climate change and deforestation using palm trees. The High Commissioner said she was in Edo to follow up on commitment Nigeria made on forest regeneration at the 2021 United Nations Climate Change Conference, COP26, held in Glasgow. She emphasized that the goal was to ensure that the oil palm approach was sustainable to the good of not just Nigerian, but the world as a whole. Please hit on the subscription button for more updates. And please don't forget to give us a like, share and comment. Thanks for staying with us. Bye-bye.